And we do turn our attention over to the back straight there for the men's three kilometre steeplechase. Yeah, as you can see them on the line and ready to go. So we have Riley Shaw in Station 1. In Station 2, we have Benjamin Buckingham. In Station 3, we have Nathan, Nathan Percy. In Station 4, we have Guy Walters. In Station 5, we have Joe Burgess. In Station 6, we have Toby O'Brien. In Station 7, we have Sean Guinea. In Station 8, we have Christopher Dale. In Station 9, we have Jesse Dunsmore. In Station 10, we have Dylan, D Dylan Holland. In Station 11, we have Max Ueda. And in Station 12, we have Patrick Matthews. So we are underway here in the men's three kilometre steeple here. My tip for this race is Benjamin Buckingham in great, in great shape. Has done really well at one of the Milers Club meets with a 3K time of 8.03 flat. Um, also ran at Zadapec uh, with a 3.50.80 in the 1500 metres there. So he's in great performance here. We do have Sean Guinea out here in front, followed by Benjamin Buckingham. So Sean Guinea in front, Ben Buckingham in second position, followed by Riley Shaw there in th third. So a 3K steeple, seven and a half laps. I'm not exactly sure how it works because each track is a little bit different with regards to how the steeples are positioned. Um, the water jump there. So they did start in an unusual spot, spot on the back straight. But we'll try and give you the splits as they are going around. But Sean Guinea looks to be... Leading the way here, one lap in. Ben Buckingham on his outside. Riley Shaw stays there in third place. And these boys have certainly got uh, Commonwealth Games B times on their line. Riley Shaw's PB is just a few seconds off. So I'm sure that's a big of a goal for him this season. But looks like everyone got through the first water jump. So Ben Buckingham's taken over the lead from his uh, teammate Sean Guinea and Riley Shaw is just on his shoulder there. So as you were saying, the Com Games Steeplechase 3000 metres big qualifier is 8.45 so there's 70 second laps. So we do have a couple of inform athletes as well. So as mentioned off the top, Ben Buckingham um, finished eighth in the 1500 metres at Zadapec with a 350.80. Riley Shaw was also in that race, finishing just behind him in 10th position with a 352.33. So they're the two athletes that have gone into this race with the fastest times. And we'll probably be looking at those two, given how recent they did run these two performances. Yeah, and I know Riley's been up at Falls Creek training pretty hard and got a big block in there, so you'd expect him to be pretty fit. But unlike some of our other races, this hasn't broken up at all. There's a really big group just at the front. And they're all just building off each other, I'm sure. Almost running in lines of two. And it does seem like Riley is quite happy to sit there on the outside as well with the current pace. So he's not wanting to get out there in front and give Ben... An easy ride through there, so he's quite happy to sit on the outside. 
Yeah, it means they've both got a clear view of the hurdle coming in by running like that. Though it does mean he is going a little bit further. But I can't really criticise that. I'm known for running at about lane four. So they come up, this fr uh, up the front straight with four laps to go in this 3,000 metre steeple. So it's about seven and a half laps. Yeah, Ben remains in front, 4.20. They still haven't really lost anyone from that front group. They're all just running in a big train. And Ben and Riley do look extremely comfortable there. A little bit longer strides with some of the athletes just behind them. So we've got Toby O'Brien at the back of that, that front pack there. So we will see they have all been able to hold on as long. We do see Toby falling off slightly here. So... That does indicate that the pace is starting to pick up. Yeah, Topi had a uh, 10k run at the lower grades at a pack races, and from what I heard, he uh, felt the pinch. So that well could still be in the legs. Toby did do a sixth position at the 3,000 metres at the Victoria Milers Club meets one in an 8.12.74. As we do come up here with three laps to go through 5.33. So about a 73 so second lap there. So just a little bit off there. that pace. However, the laps are a bit funny with the water pit cutting off a bit of the corner. So not quite as simple maths. Which is why it's taken me a little while to jump in there. So 4.20 that lap pre previous, 5.33. They will want to be on 70 second laps for that 8.45. So unless anything dramatically changes... And Riley does look like he's starting to make a little bit of a break, or at least maybe trying to drop a couple. So the lead has changed here. So we do have Riley Shaw who's taken the front position. We've got Guy Walters there on the outside, for a New South Wales athlete. Does do a fair bit of training up at Falls Creek as well with the same athletes. Um, so they all know each other. Ben Buckingham in third position. Nathan Percy in fourth. So they come through with 800 to go and everyone, that, everyone in that front four is still right there. So about a 72 second lap there. So they have picked it up quite a bit and they are. So as you can see from our front pack, we no longer have a big large group at the front. It's only down to four athletes. Riley in front, Ben Buckingham in second. Guy Walters there, maybe just slipping away. And Nathan Percy in fourth position and they are a single file now as well which does indicate it is starting to pick up a little bit probably as they do come into 600 meters to go in this steeple it is going to come down to our two early predictions here so riley and ben buckingham there 500 meters to go as they come into the front straight they're going to get the bell And our front two have cleared a solid gap on the next two. So get the bell. So we did have a 69 second lap there. So the pace has picked up quite a bit. And you would expect it to finish quite strongly after quite an, e an easier start for what some of these athletes can compete here with 300 metres to go. But Riley's going to take it in. Ben Buckingham has quite a deceiving style as well. I remember him coming over the top. Um, of the athletes in the 3,000 metres of the Milers Club meets one. Yeah, and that was a great result that night and had a lot of people talking, definitely. But Riley is trying to drop him, but he hasn't quite managed to do it yet. He's just sticking on. And they come over the water jumpers the last time. And they have just one more barrier to negotiate before the finish line. So it's going to come right down here to the last barrier. 
Ben Buckingham on the outside, Riley Shaw on the inside. It's going to come right down to the wire. Riley Shaw on the inside, and he's going to get it. 857.69. And do we think we're Riley Shaw got it there? We are I slightly off the line. It did look like he eased up a little on the line. He probably did ease up a couple of metres too early then. Ben was right there on his outside. But a great performance there by both of the athletes. Riley, a great kick down to fend off. And I'm down trackside with our steeplechase winner by a very narrow margin, Riley Shaw. Uh, first steeple of the year. Not sure if you even had a steeple last year. How did it feel to go back over the barriers? Um, yeah, it was pretty tough. You always think you're going really well and it uh, doesn't matter how fast or slow, the last two laps always creep up on you. Yeah, the 3K does tend to go a little bit quick sometimes. You think it's a bit longer. And um, you've been up at Falls Creek, solid training block from what I've heard. Um, How's that setting you up for the rest of your season and where to from here? Um, so this is the first time I've done a November stint before January and I think the biggest thing is it just takes a few weeks to get going up there and I've just basically done that so when I get there in January you're pretty much set to go. Yeah sounds great, looks like you're in for a big season, another steeple on the cards? Um, yeah, I mean I guess after sort of opening up now the goal is to try and get some sort of qualifier if I can. Um, so I think I was like 10 seconds off today give or take so it's definitely achievable but um, yeah, nothing guaranteed. Well, hopefully we see some, uh, some PVs there in the steeple for you this year. Well done. Thank you.